screaming for help and you left her. Are we live, Matt? We're live. Episode number 39. This was in me. Yeah, we'll fucking 119? get to that. We'll fucking get to that, man. But yeah, this is thirty nine. One more to go after this. This is the, this is the, the, the semi final of the finale. Wow, this is like Brandon Novak versus Bernard Tomic. This is in a tennis match. This, when, is this, that his name? Yeah, yeah. man, D- Bernard Tomic, I believe. You Fuck, what's it. the uh, Djokovic? Hey, just three minutes. Novak. Yeah, anyway. It's, uh, Oh, I swore. Yeah, Fuck. Michael's fucked it, cunt. I literally had Release a, the shackles, cunt. I literally had it's a, done. Release it's the done. Sh- shake the shackles off and have a fuck yell. Fuck! Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. I hope my daughter's <laughs> a shot. I hope my daughter's not here. <laughs> oh, Matthew, actually, could you double check that the No, name you're is- the one that set that off. <laughs> right. He was going to control until you swore. Yeah, well, he, I'm he, opening he the door. himself. I'm opening the <laughs> door. If I do it, he has to do it. That's the rule. It goes vice versa. If he does it, I do it. Anyway, we have a lot of shit talking to do, okay? So this first bit's probably going to go for a little while. So let's quickly get the fucking sponsors out of the way. Because I'll tell you what, Manscaped, they're being fucking legends, right? They fucking believe in us. They've supported us, right? If you want to fucking any male grooming shit, what did they send us? Where's the package? I don't remember. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, right. new right. shit. All right, be- before we get into the proper shit talk, they sent us like the fucking coolest shit. All right, genuinely the coolest shit. Look at this nail thing. You can you got your uh, nail clippers, nail file, scissors, and fucking tweezers. You got the weed whacker for your nose. Have you used that yet? Oh, yep. I used it Is straight it away. No, it's easy. Look, there you I'm go. Right now. There you fucking go. I've got fucking nose hairs everywhere. Oh. Dude, they're the worst thing. And they yeah. look like shit. Matt, look, have a go at this, man. I got one. A weed I, whacker. There you go. I got, got one in my... All you got to do, fully actual 20, uh, 20% off. Okay, just use our discount code, fully actual 20. You get 20% off. Buy some Christmas shit. Buy some shit from Manscaped. They support us, so we support them. It's just big, beautiful fucking get out of town. The other sponsor is, of course, the subscription website, University of Michael, where we post our most fucked up videos okay the shit we want to film there's over 200 videos on there now they're all fucked there's gonna be coming up the nail gun video Dude, it where got, Michael it could have gone so bad where, we'll talk about that shortly where Michael had to go to hospital just all sorts of shit that we can't post to social media that we post there if you want to have a look at the videos there's a 21 day free trial that we offer so you just sign up and then you can watch free for 21 days if you like it you stay on if you don't you leave free charge man that's the sponsors done baby if you want to support the podcast either subscribe to the University of Michael or like comment subscribe this video man done alright the weekend. Holy shit. Yeah, we went to Firstly, Jackson's party. Matthew, well done. I, like, Matthew's fun when he's sober. Oh, this is the me. drunkest we've ever seen Matt Brown. Matt, when he's drunk, is like a little kid. It's so fun to be around. Oh, oh, he's like, always, okay, always imagine, smiling. He's like, he's His like, posture changes. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. He's like, he, like, his neck was sticking out a bit and he was like... Very approachable posture. Like a cute little kid. Yeah. I don't know. It was very beautiful. He was clapping a lot. It's, it's like, imagine, it's like, he's, it's like a silly mat. It's, it's like, like a, he's like picture like a 40 year old with learning difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck, he was buzzing around left, right and center. And you probably stayed the, not, Matt stayed. Yeah. yeah uh, we slept together. Yeah. You guys, they stayed up to what? 6 a.m. or some shit? Yeah. I uh, like four or something. And uh, man, there were some funny stories that came out of the fucking night. Funny, funny story from <laughs> Michael Matt hooked Brown. Up. Michael hooked up? No, I didn't. <laughs> Matt Brown. <laughs> Matt Brown um, fucking got, okay. He went into the security safe, right? Where all the phones are. trying to steal people's shit. No, no, no. So- <laughs> 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 no, no, there was a security room uh, where the security guards were watching the uh, cameras. So there's a lot of security at Jackson's party and they had uh, security cameras up and one guy was watching him in that room. That was security room. There was no phones. In anyway. Except for one. Yeah, there was a phone in there and guess whose phone. Well, no, let's save that for the end. So Matt starts picking up phones, taking videoing himself. I found himself, a couple of phones here and there. Videoing and himself and then he just does a nine minute clip just on a random phone, just talking to the screen, hammer drunk at like 5 a.m. And I found some sunglasses who I still have. I have this person's sunglasses. You stole them, Matt. You stole yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, did. <laughs> when Matt gets drunk, he just racks up. Man, he told um, me all of the wallets he stole. Fucked up shit, man. 
But the funny part is, is the fucking phone that he did it on. And one of the one of the highlights of the phone is like he's like, oh, he's so slurry. I don't know whose phone this is, but I respect you. <laughs> <laughs> and then it ends up being. Bernard Tomix. So Tomix phone. messaging Jackson the next day being like, do you know who this man is? <laughs> and Jackson sent us so, the message. For- we should put it in the UOM group. And the, on OnlyFans. We'll put it on OnlyFans. Hey! We'll put the clip on OnlyFans. Oh, yeah. Only do you want to add the clip to the podcast, maybe? We've got yeah. a small clip Oh, wait, no, it. fuck it. We'll put it on the OnlyFans. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll put a it teaser, maybe. It will go somewhere. Maybe. Because we'll, we'll have to go through. I've only we'll put seen a teaser like minutes of it. on the on the episode, and then we'll put the whole thing on the OnlyFans. You yeah. reckon? Whatever you want. Oh, the, I don't even know if we have the whole nine minutes. Maybe so, we'll get. Bernard I'll tell you who does have it, mate. Bernard it. fucking Tommy. <laughs> this party, by the way, before we continue with the stories, like this is probably it's most outrageous party I've ever been to. The shit, the people there is just like it's so much fucking fun. We went there with every intention of just not drinking, just seat, mate. smoke a bit of weed. Sorry. And we fucking ended up just like just couldn't. It was just too good of an event yeah, to we not had party. To. We had I, to have I, a few drinks. We didn't get fucking blasted. And oh I, yeah, I left by, by like midnight. But by the end, I had a few drinks. But I think it's when okay. Funny part of it, I, Matt sleeps in Lockie's bed, and then I, I probably stopped drinking around six a.m. But if I have a few before I go to bed, if I don't space them out, even if I'm not hammered, I'll still piss. <laughs> Wake up. At what, 10, 10 a.m.? And then I'm shivering. Oh, you tell the story, Matt. You so fucking told it. Good we time. wake up and um, and yeah, it's cold. Like, it was a bit cold, but um, we wake up and Michael's next to me. I don't even remember you coming next to me, but I was in Lachlan's no, bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and Michael's freezing and he's like, I'm so cold. And he gets up and he goes, he goes, I'm going to go to the toilet. And as I and he said, can we can we go home? Can we get some food and go home? And I said, yeah, absolutely. And he rolls out of bed and, and goes to the toilet. And as I said that, I said, oh, Michael, where's your keys? And I my hand like went to his side of the bed and like splashed Ooh. into a puddle. A piss Lockie's bed. Michael piss Lockie's bed. My there you new go. bed. I'd never pissed Lockie's bed before. Well, you haven't pissed a bed. We'll talk about this yeah. for a year. And then for a long time. he broke his fucking fuck. But there yeah. you go. Lots of the party though itself was crazy. Such crazy entertainment. The people there are amazing. It's just like a fucking, it's like a nightclub event thing. It's unbelievable. Yeah. The Jackson pulled that It was together. incredible. Uh, there was free drinks for everyone, free food. Bars everywhere. Like the Stafford just, Brothers played. There's a fucking dude on a one of them water jet things. And yeah. Yeah, there's a fucking flips. jumping castle. There's there Strippers, there's live sex shows. Yeah, I killed Fuck. a man. I actually tattoos. killed a man. We, yeah. Yeah. Matt was meant to get a tattoo. Yeah, I was going to get fully uh, uh, B more B or fully actual. We were trying. Uh, to I was going to get the chair. Yeah, there was a chair you could choose. I was going to get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Should have got Stephen Hawking's chair. <laughs> yeah. Um, and fucking yeah, it was just a bloody good time. And um, what what else has happened this week? Fucking well, I'll tell you what we filmed last week. We filmed a science experiment. How far, how, what, at what distance are nail guns dangerous? Nail guns, you know, like proper nail guns. You know, I had fucking done the research. I remember a tradie once said to me a long time ago, the nails spin if you're a long way away. And yeah, shoot as soon as they so, air, they go off. Yeah, so the research was done. You know, we did the research. We thought that they spun in the air if you were, you know, a good distance away. But turns out they don't. Some of them still just shoot like a fucking arrow cunt. These are the what's it called the gas powered ones. Yeah, these are like proper nail guns. Like whatever you whatever worst case scenario you're pitching in your head. Yes, it was that gun. And so we were knew we were in trouble during the intro because our, our so mate was loud. blasting him into the wooden fence. Like, bang, 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 bang. Some went All into metal, in. like into the metal garage. They stuck into yeah. it. Like that's fucked. And you know, on the outset of the video, we're like, oh sure, there's probably one of these is probably going to stick in our butts when it gets pretty close. And in, you know, it'll just be like a dart. It'll go in a, a little bit of a way, and that'll be the end of the video. It'll be fucking hilarious. So like, oh, a good distance away. He's literally like ten meters away. Oh, he would have been five at the start for the first shot. F- very five first- is ages away. That's so far away. Michael and I standing next to each other, asses exposed. Very first shot, bang. Michael goes, ah, oh, and then, oh, yeah, geez, that hurt a bit. Turns around, there's a fucking nail half in his ass already. Like these nails, dude. The long fucking nails. You can't see it on Spotify. It's so, like, it's what, seven centimeters? I don't fucking know. It's, a, it's like, yeah, it's like, 
How long would you say that is, Matt? Like six, six, seven centimeters or something? Well, like halfway in, right? Which was fucking hilarious. We're all laughing and thinking, oh, so, and then we're like, oh, you know, it's just a coincidence. I'm sure not all of them are going to stick in. And then anyway, I get the next one. And it, and it doesn't go straight. It bends and it slaps my ass. And then we stand next to each other again. And then fucking, he's even further away, our mate. Because we're like, oh, fuck, we don't want to. Back up. Yeah. This, it's still a dangerous distance. Takes a step back, shoots. One went in between our fucking heads, which we didn't even know until after the video. He said, oh, yeah, I shot one, missed. And it went in between your heads. How did it do? Did that badly would, aim? That's it. Yeah. Because it's a long that's way. Like, and there's a lot of recoil with them and shit. Oh, and that's then, over if that hits your head. Then- he shoots another one and we hear a slap. We look down and in Michael's calf muscle, nearly the entire way, like just like the very end bit sticking into his calf muscle. It was truly oh, shocking to see. Oh, truly dude, shocking to see. So And scary. then he pulls it out and there's blood and shit. Where and were like, you? So did you just rip it out or did you take it out nah, slowly? No, I took it out slowly. slowly oh! But then it sort of just slipped out. Oh, like, my God. Yeah, it's it pretty was gross. fucking gross. Anyway, so we, we, we weren't worried. We're like, oh, you're not going to die or anything, but we should probably go get like a tetanus shot or something because the nails were rusty. Anyway, we get to the hospital. They're like, oh, what? You took him out. You should leave him in, leave him in. And then they get him in there and they shove a tube into his holes and flush him out. And they said, unbelievable. Mm. And there's an artery one centimeter either side of where the fucking nail went in. Left and right. So So one centimeter left or right would have hit an artery and he would have been in real fucking trouble. And he said, if it hit an artery in the upper leg, which we had no protection over, he said, we could have bled out within minutes come. yeah the upper leg arteries are the bad ones we didn't even but, like, think of that i didn't think like I, it, marty had a pillow covering his like hip lower, like, lower back. back so he wouldn't get like you know you got bones there and if that had gone up can't. i didn't have a p- pillow there and i don't fucking know why i just thought it was gonna work out that hit me in the bone dude that would have hurt <laughs> so much <laughs> fucking we shut fucking, me down we like, got lucky dude yeah, that was like God, after that we're like fuck me that was like we gotta we need to do a more li- research maybe a little bit more research before we do these because that was like that could have ended so badly if that fucking plunged into our neck or something oh, that's it back of the head or where your kidney is there's brain? no protection there Imagine like that just, deep into your fucking kidney you got come. two kidneys though yeah what if it like got your spinal cord or something yeah straighten the spine could have gone all a oh. range of things could have gone wrong maybe anyway, you guys shouldn't do this stuff anymore no, anyway obviously Stephen was looking over <laughs> yeah, but we needed to figure it out because no one had tested it before if there's a safe distance you can fire an hour gun turns out there is no safe distance for those wondering anyway video is going to be on the website in a few weeks but yeah it's fucked did you slow down the um, nails at all to see if they were actually spinning and just happened to spin and got you at the correct moment? No, it didn't slow anything down. It That'd be interesting to know because the guys, what did you say? The research said that they spin. Yeah, the research so running- that we conducted, which was one tradie I asked a few years ago. <laughs> I wonder they if spin. they did spin still, but just happened to land in. Yeah. Doesn't sound like it. If they're gas powered, that's terrifying. But yeah, anyway, it was a fucked video. Obviously, we won't be able to post that to social media. And then fucking, yeah. Then we had Jackson's party. Then beginning of this week, I start getting fucking chest pains. And I'm like, I don't know if it's like muscular or structural or fucking um, my, my heart. And I could feel my blood pressure was really high. So I was like, oh, fuck, just to be safe, I'll just go to the fucking hospital. And then they get in there, they measure my blood pressure, and then they start freaking me out hard. Oh, dude, it would feel like, terrifying. They're like, no, that's way too hard. There's blah, blah, blah. I start doing all these fucking tests on me. And I'm in there for hours and hours. And then they do all these weird tests on me, send me to another hospital. And then the doctor there was like, oh, you know, it's obvious that, you know, you're fucking, that there's, your heart seems fine. But your lifestyle, so stress, and it's a fucking stressful time of year at the moment. Holy shit. We're doing pretty much two weeks work every week so we can have a break at the end of the year. And we're getting fucked, but we're five weeks away. That's a long time. That's a lot, lot longer than I wanted. <laughs> but yeah, dude, we're getting there. And fucking, we, yeah, thank fuck we aren't dead. And That's the main it, thing. Yeah, yeah, we survived and we're here to fight another day. Did he More give you science. anything to like, like any uh, ideas on how to bring your stress down? Yeah, just just the usual, just the regular shit. But mostly it was just like get your fucking get your work sorted so that you're not so stressed. But it's hard to do. But and we'll, we're working, working on it. On Next it. year we're expanding, so fucking hopefully less to do. Um, what else was there that we had to talk about? Um, all right, so we got the fucking. Um, 
as you, some of you may have seen, we've only promoted it once. The Listener's Choice Awards, the Australian Podcast Awards, has begun. Okay? And the Listener's Choice voting has opened. We promoted on Instagram and Facebook last Friday. And we're going to fucking send. By the time you're listening to this, we'll have already done it. All right? So this is only, this is only a short-term special offer for those people who have already done it. We've had like over a 1,000 It's going to be a more. lot. Have you had over a 1,000 now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Because at I'm least 200 cool. came through the fully yeah, actual they're coming and in I thick and fast. sent them to you. So we're going to attempt tomorrow and the next few days to send a thank you message to every single person who has voted for us thus far. Unfortunately, from this moment on, we won't be sending the video messages because it's just too time-consuming. But th- please continue voting. I fucking love it. There's so much beautiful support. The, the podcast awards have grown a fair bit too. The Hamish and yeah, they've definitely and doubled up. Yeah, so it's gonna. The competition is thick and fierce. And everyone put so many lovely messages in there when they sent their screenshots through. Yeah, so thank you, everyone who fucking yeah. listens and watches and and who voted. Thank you so hard, so hard right now. Well, this whole oh, thing is them. Yeah, exactly. This is all, this is for you fucking dogs right there. It'd be so good if we fucking It'd be won. so funny. It would change everything. It would flip the world upside down, cunt. Yeah, it would stop the the virus. 100%. Probably. We're doing this to stop coronavirus. Probably. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sit of the vaccine, have a fucking two two cunt. It's probably just as good for the immune system, cunt. Two there you go. That's like a one version tour. <laughs> Feels good to do. <laughs> <laughs> you do one, Matt. <laughs> no, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> he always goes he, to he and then stops to himself. Uh, he always stops himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's fucking. Wait, there's still more from the weekend. Yeah. Bert Newton died. Yeah. Bert Newton died. At the party, actually. He we were there. at the party when he died. <laughs> Seriously, Julian Dude, said- he died on Halloween at like 12 o'clock. Mm. Sacrificed. He must have been sacrificed. That's what I was going to do with him if I ever ran into him That's anyway. fucking crazy. What a time to die. <laughs> and the um, Melbourne Cup got run. Yeah, Melbourne Cup. Yeah, I don't really fucking the watch the horses, eh? Couldn't be I don't fucked. watch them. Is yeah, it, do you watch the horses? Fuck no. Neither do I. I Dude, don't get it. Why? I don't know, but people go nuts. Like the only time I want to be around a horse is to pat it or be yeah. with it. I don't Pair, like all the race. all works shut yeah, down. I don't get it, eh? It's the race that stops the nation. Oh, fuck Didn't off. fucking stop us, Kian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no to so that's our, for me. That's our fucking shit talk. There's a lot going on, and we're fucking. It's a stressful time. We're, we're fucking buzzing, cunt. We're fucking running on fumes the whole time. We're fucking getting shit done, but cunt. <laughs> yeah there's some funny. good videos coming fuck me can't fuck off can't fuck it <laughs> so, and, I, and I guess it's time for the diary entries hmm. diary entry number 147 from Michael Corey Brookhouse is there more to even attempt to understand this you have to first understand what more means and realize that what's more to some might be less to others for example the golly bottle more golly made me happy But to you, more golly made you less happy. And therein lies the answer. For there to be more, there must also be less. The two cannot exist without each other. So remember when you are sad, that your sadness is allowing someone else to be happy. And it makes the sadness bearable. Anyway, I'm off to get KFC chicken tenders, but they have to be fresher. I don't want them. If they're even 10 minutes old, I don't want to have them. He used to be so, when we were fucking in our early twenties. He would be so fucking grossly fussy at KFC. What, yeah. yeah. Can you just make them fresh? Are they are they fresh? <laughs> All right. Hands up if you agree that old shitty chicken popcorn chicken or chicken nuggets or fucking anything from any fast food restaurant tastes like shit when it's been in there for even half an hour is shit. Yeah, half Michael, a- the chips are shit if they've been there for half an hour or longer. All right. Half an hour. No, half an hour is fine. If they've but been there for, you for get fucking it. five hours, if then gonna, maybe bin it. If you're going <laughs> to fucking pay for like your meal, like you want it to be fresh. And it's like you just wait for five minutes and it makes the, the meal 10 times better. One of the best parts about going to KFC with Michael, and this is one of the first times I sort of ever got fast food with him. 
We walk in there and Michael would just order 20 chicken nuggets and that's 18, it. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, 18 nuggets. Because I was like, yeah, you know how you can get pot. meals, your chips and drink? Yeah. I just want bulk food because like I was poor. So, I'd be like, okay, what can I get for my bang for my buck? So, it was like $9 and you get 18 nuggets and then I'm full. Mm, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> but then I was very, I, I was craving a Mountain Dew so after shit. that. shit. He used to fucking uh, fussy little boy. The fussy little boy at but KFC and McDonald's, huh? That whole mess, like that whole uh, more and less shit, dude. Mm, nah, it's spot on, man. Philosophical. You gotta have balance, as hey. Fuck. Nah, you nailed that, that man. That is some yin yang shit. Two. Dorian's number 109 from Marty. <clears throat> Today, a friend showed me that he owns something called a PlayStation. It makes games come on the TV. The games made me want to kill strangers. Playstations are scary and make the circle spin really fast. I heard it blowing air too. It felt like I'm living in the future. It was a pretty good day. Why would it make you want to kill people? I don't know. Maybe the games were murderous or something. German shit came back. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you number six now from Julian James Tennyson Woods from Ashgrave or some shit 4060 till I die mm, Today I gassed my family dog by sitting the fucking thing in dad's car right Getting the hose cunt Putting one end on the exhaust and feeding the other end into the car Ha 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 fucking stab It died peacefully but it was still pretty funny Ha ha swipe cunt I might go see if there's any chicks hanging around the servo Ha ha grab stab stab grab it also, all my days are just bleeding into one, and I'm having trouble distinguishing what's real and what's fantasy. Stab! Fucking stab your throat, cunt! Slash it! <laughs> well, he got a bit serious at the end of his entry. Maybe a, a, a blink of real Julian. Yeah, like he sort of... I don't know. A smidge of real Julian came out, and he realised what was happening. Was that responsible? Tried to communicate with the outside world, but was sucked back in by that... Disgusting character that he has. The stab. He can't help but have a stab. Julian's Darren character who's just taken over his brain. Oh, Darren. Similar to Darren. That's what oh. happened. That's what's happened to him. He's been possessed by something, a character like that, and it's taken over his brain. I feel it. I feel Darren doing that to me sometimes. And I don't want to go back to being me sometimes. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just oh, want to well, stay as Darren. I could keep you as Arnold Fine. I would fucking hang out with Arnold Fine all day long. Darren, not so much, dude. <sighs> Darren, not so much. Oh, we forgot to mention in the shit talk that we got Brandon Novak on for the season finale, right? We interviewed him today. Right, for the finale next week, right? It's fuck cool. Anyway, it was a fucking good time. You know, that'll be in the fuck season finale on all right, Matt Brown. Can you not look at me when you diary, 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 diary entry. Number one thousand and eighty three from Matthew Gregory Brown. <laughs> <laughs> It was a crispy winter's morning, oh. and my father's balls popped out of my mouth. I hungrily stuffed them back into my mouth <laughs> and sucked deeply. They stretched all the way down my throat, and I could feel the skin about to tear and relaxed my sucking as they shot back up out of my throat. I felt my sleeping father stir, and he too started sucking my balls. We weren't doing this in a gay way. It was just father and son hanging out. I plunged my thumb deep into my excited father's ring. I swirled my thumb around, flexing it against the internal walls of my father's sweet, sweet ass. I spat my dad's smooth test out and let out a moan. <sighs> my father grabbed my cheeks and forcefully pulled them apart in a total non-gay way. It was honestly just how he, me and dad hung out and drove his tongue straight into my asshole. I felt his tongue aggressively shoot in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> my sack bubbled with hot sticky mints. I arched my back and looked back at my father, drilling down into my core with his dry, cracked Tongue. Our eyes locked and our balls twisted together. We grabbed each other's faces and smashed our teeth together. All our teeth cracked out of out of our mouths and then we kissed, with small tooth fragments rolling around on our tongues. It sounded weird, like someone playing with a bag of marbles. Then we parted lips. You have made a full recovery, Dad. I feel stronger than ever, son, said Dad, and he leant in and pecked me on the nose. <laughs> We detangled ourselves and sat up and left our tent to stretch our legs. We were still on the mountains, waiting for Choir and Queston to find us. The bears had clearly slowed them down. Dad was finally back to full health. Then I hear it. 
As quick as a bullet, a rock flies past my head and connects with my father's. He is rendered unconscious or possibly dead, and his body drops to the floor. In the corner of my eye, I see Choir reloading her slingshot. It was time. They had found us! <laughs> oh, dude. The battle is about to commence. Oh, we left it on a cliffhanger. Oh man, yeah, that's a exciting. Range relationship with your father, dude. That would be a shit kiss. Imagine cracking your teeth so they're all moshed up in your mouth, and, and then the you try and have a tongue. patch. Did you'd be so upset knowing all your teeth are fucked. You'd be able to get in deeper though, and there'd be teeth rolling around, make a funny sound. Oh, oh dude, you'd swallow bits yeah, of teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'd have you'd have teeth shit. Do you remember oh. like a blue light discos or like? discos when you were young and you kiss a girl and some of them were still new to kissing and they'd accidentally bump teeth with you and it was very off-putting yeah really the, the teeth a bumping. teeth bump is okay you can get oh no i accepted bump. it yeah but it's very like but you, you were upset with well them. you were I mean, the teacher <laughs> at the school <laughs> <laughs> He was he was kissing the students <laughs> at the discos. <laughs> oh fucking disco days! Oh, I miss them, man. Oh, <laughs> let's go to one, man. Dude, let's, let's fucking let's go, go to the school one. disco. <laughs> oh. oh, but yeah, because like, in my head I was just like, I'm a teacher. I'm, I shouldn't be doing yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate on kiss, like how to like make sure I kiss good. Yeah. Because I didn't want to be embarrassing. In front of the other staff members. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and then you, they hit your teeth and you're like, fuck, I need to like, I need to restart. Detention! On this day. Yes. It's over. In 1456, oh. shelves were invented. Before shelves, people would just put shit all over the floor and even outside in a pile. People would then trip over their belongings at night and actually end up tripping themselves to death. They tripped over so frequently that it very gradually chipped away at their bodies until they died. The inventor, Shelf, said the idea came to him while he was fucking his sister's corpse and had nowhere practical to put her after. <laughs> fucking shelf, eh? So the guy who invented shelves is a bit of a sick fuck, but thank God, man. Oh, Where would dude. we be without shelves today? All that shit would be on the ground. That See that? Yeah, I got ground. that curbside collection. Yeah, there'd be shit all over the ground. We'd be tripping over nonstop, Matt Brown. Dad used to call himself Look shelf. at the fucking house here. Literally on every surface is covered. Yeah, We need more shelves. You need a spring clean. Sorry. A spring cleaner. Uh, well, that, yeah, very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah, baby. That's it. That's that's the honest right. diaries, baby. I think it's time for... Bong break time. Bong break! And we're back! Oh, fuck. Okay. Michael, oh, he's already fucking yeah, Michael did Matt two bombs. <laughs> oh, fuck. He needed asthma puffer. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. sighs> All right. How are we going to house fire? <laughs> Breathing in all that smoke. How can you be fine? Imagine, imagine right? Imagine being in a house fire and the house is made of condensed dried weed. Thick... Press down, you can get a whole ounce to a sheet of paper size, and it's whole house made of it. Yeah, but what? The, see, burn the house down. Burn the house down and stand in it. I wonder how high you no, get. I don't reckon. <laughs> probably. You'd probably die. Yeah, if you stayed in there. I reckon it'd be cool to do an experiment where we do have a shitload of weed, and you can like put it in a room. And then first one to leave. Yeah, fire chicken. We've spoken about this. No, we? no, no. Just weed, not fire. We've weed spoken chicken. about fire. Let's do weed. Oh, you hop, mean hop stay in a chicken. smoky room and stay for as long as you can. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> hmm. Okay. It's just weed. Like constantly pumping through. You guys need to blow your bongs out the windows more. I can oh, feel you can it. taste I'm it. And smell it. We've got to learn how to open the windows. Yeah, well, why don't true. we just put a hole through the wall? Next question. All right. <laughs> Top question went to... Uh, Billy. 
Gyrax. Um, um, question for the cult. Question for the cod past. Okay. Here we fucking go. Okay. All right. Has there ever been a PO unboxing segment that you've had to completely cut on, cut due to involving drugs or something too fucked up? No, the only I things we've we, always had them. The things we've ever cut from the podcast is um, when people like write us really nice letters and they ask for their names not to be mentioned. Other than that, we fucking we show you guys. We don't sometimes we don't say exactly what drug it is because we don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> but we do show you guys, and we love the fucked up shit, cunt. What about that time we got sent shit? Yeah, that was a good time. So, remember how much fun that was, Matt Brown? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, that was a rough, like, night. We cleared, oh, cleared the room out. out. Stunk like yeah, shit. Yeah, cleared the yeah, room out. Shit festers as it sits in mailboxes. Mm. We learned. Well, next question. Um, <laughs> in second place came from uh, Jonathan oh, Smith. Um, question for the podcast. Who would win in a fight... Between Fortnite Julian, not Eshe Julian, mm. Fortnite Julian, or Michael from Skull and Spin Part 2 where he stands up for himself? Mm, yeah, great question. That would be a very close fight. I'm going to say me. <laughs> <laughs> Just because. And... <clears throat> yeah, Fortnite Julian would be the only version of Julian where he doesn't carry a weapon. Because he can't... He, all, only fo- he's, he's, he turns into something else. He becomes like... He becomes loving. A child. Yeah. Like, he becomes a child when... Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's he, he right. He plays Fortnite. He's like, literally he gets a- so giggly. Yeah. And he jumps up and down and <laughs> claps Martin, like this. come look at TV. He starts feeling himself up yeah. weirdly. He, he scratches at himself. And watches- it's really itchy. Wow, she's fucking crazy, the shit he does, man. So, like, yeah. that'd be easy to put down. You just hit it or yeah, kick it. That's true. It's dead. Yeah, Fortnite Julian is it's basically like, an infant. It's, it's so weird. Yeah. He puts all of his brain into gaming, so his the remaining body and self is fucking dog shit. It, it is. A, it's disgusting. It's a fucking little it's more so twisted up fucked cunt dog. Eight year old <laughs> cunt dog. It is. It's like a rat, like a rat in a hamster shore. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's true. So I would win. And but if it was normal, I reckon. Would you in a boxing a match, Julian would win, I reckon. Oh, you guys are just reminding me. Um, did you hear they found uh, that little girl? Oh, yeah. What's Cleo Smith has been found. Yeah. And really? They, yeah. They, well, they found oh, her yeah, here. They, they found are. her here. <laughs> Dude, I've heard a story about this, actually. Here we go. Okay. Go on. Apparently, some news station has posted saying that- the building it's the wrong down. it's the wrong face they've used the wrong like person and yeah, shown same on their name, TV but they've shown the wrong fucking guy so now that person's getting death threats like threatened to like be bashed he can't leave his house oh the guy who, the who guy, yeah, they dude. showed the wrong person yeah oh that is oh that is defamation <laughs> like, yeah like so now he oh yeah Wow, really? Ring one, ring. Yeah, maybe. I, got, <laughs> I did see a news up. <laughs> I did see a news article before I left good. work saying that the, the laugh, actual dude. guy has already been beaten up in jail. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, man. dude. He's it's in guaranteed trouble. guaranteed to happen, yeah. Sorry, yeah, let's well, continue. She's been fucking found though. Well, it's unbelievable. It's very low chance of that happening. How many days? 18, what, 18, 18 days? days? Oh, wow. And that she's not only alive, but she's like well as well. So, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, fed her. We helped, we helped the, that. That was pretty much us that found her because I put that up on our story when she first went missing. So we were the f- people who actually ended up. I think. I think that we actually found her. Oh yes! I don't want to like fucking throw our names in there. You know, all due credit to everyone else, but I'm pretty sure that we found her. I'm gonna say we did too. Yeah, yeah. I put it on our resume, mate. <laughs> Write it down. And put it on our resume. We found Cleo. Next question is from Swamp Box sixty <laughs> nine. Boys, do you prefer Pokemon or Dragon Ball Z when you're a kid? I didn't really watch either. Eh? It was more of a um get out of the house alive in the morning type thing rather than watch TV. Michael? Next question is from... What was the question? (laughs) What's better, Pokemon or Dragon Ball Z and who would you fuck? I reckon Pokemon when I was younger but then got into Dragon Ball Z when I was later primary school. Like 14, 15. But now I'm I'm not into either. Uh, I mean, exactly. If you had to fuck a Pokemon or a Dragon Ball Z character, uh, who would you fuck? Clefairy! Clefairy. Which Pokemon would you fuck? Yeah, holy shit. Haven't we done a video about this? Oh, you remember that? Pokemon. Dude, Pokemon Go. 
Yeah, remember when that came out? We did a video because we thought, oh, it's trending, so we'll do a social experiment. And we went out and <laughs> sure. a hidden camera, just a social experiment, went up to people who we saw were playing Go. Pokemon and, and gone we, sexual. <laughs> and we kept telling them that we wanted to fuck all the Pokemon and shit. Oh, weird. like we'd go up to them with the game and be like, I remember you did a really good take of you going up saying, I'm Squirtle. Like, <laughs> And then you're like looking at him like, but from behind your shoulder, so creepily. <laughs> Jesse and moaning after you'd say Pokemon's yeah. name. Yeah, but anyway, it's a great video. It's a Where great is video. that video? It's on. It'd be on the bloody YouTube somewhere, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Matt shook his head. Oh fuck! You know, we've pushed it. <laughs> Matt's shaking his head. <laughs> Matt's disappointed. <laughs> I get it, baby. <laughs> Uh, next to Sebastian, he's writing it down. The he's resume. actually writing it down. He's for the pull on the resume. Martin Michael for <laughs> Clear Smith. Wait, Pokemon you'd fuck? I'd probably have a go at Pikachu, man. Is that, Was that like... It's Pikachu, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with it. <laughs> what See about what happens, eh? The magnet one. <laughs> <laughs> What about that cat? Meowth. <laughs> oh, Mewtwo. <laughs> What's that big snore one? Snorlax. Oh, fuck. Dragonaut. Uh, can we move on? <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, oh, Matt, can you come sit on my lap, dude? Just for a bit. <laughs> lap break. No. Come here. No. Come in. It made him smile though. Yeah, he did. He have liked a the grin. thought of it. He liked the thought of it. <laughs> Just come. We'll share the seat. Maybe for, for PO box. He's maybe shy. we'll share the yeah, seat. For maybe box. for PO box. I got to read out the questions. Okay. You slept next to me and pissed. Yeah, I know. That's why I want you here now. Yeah. He needs to piss. Next question is from David. Uh, Michael, why do you have so many damn chairs on your front of your <laughs> house, <laughs> like okay. a chair graveyard? <clears throat> Should we let him in on yeah, the yeah, idea? Yeah, hundred percent. No, I'll just say there's something coming. No, there's, there's a big there's a, a project, cool coming. video that probably one of my favorite videos we're ever well, gonna let's make. Tell him the idea. I'm too excited. Uh, tell us if this is a shit idea. <laughs> but we're gonna get like thirty of them fucking things, zip tie them all together so they're all connected. They all move as one. We're gonna sit in the very center chair, very center chair. And we're going to fucking take that thing down the biggest hills that we can find. We have found the hill and it is dangerous as fuck. So dangerous! I feel kind of protected in the middle. I know, that's, yeah, that's why. That's why. We have to see. Should I come? Cause, well, yeah, we're going to need your help, even I'd say. We're going to do it on a weekend. Even we'll, if, the, we'll do if it, it goes it. off the road and it's it's crashes into a tree, the force by the time it gets to you won't be that bad. Yeah, yeah. I reckon- I, It'll be like a- It's like a- like a, It absorbs- a sponge. It absorbs the shock- it's like, yeah, exactly. As it moves down the mountains. Yeah, holy shit. So, I reckon maybe- Would we wear a helmet? No, I don't think that we should wear anything. <laughs> Do it naked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Road rash. Anyway, that's what that's what the chairs are for, all right? So, hang in there. Let us oh, know if that's man. a shit idea. If that's a shit idea, please it's tell us. It's probably a shit idea. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have to go and buy the rest of the chairs because we're too fucking, too fucking busy to go get more chairs when fuck curbs. I'll drown count. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be an expensive video. Yeah. Next question is from- Did you write it down, Matt? <laughs> Uh, next oh, one is a comment, gone, actually. Uh, it's from Taylor Dow. Um, he just wanted to say, he's just kind of cute, so I thought I'd read it out. Um, he said, hey, boys, I just wanted to say that the way you are so interactive with the fans is a huge thing that sets you apart from any other internet so personality. True. So true. It shows you truly care about the supporters. We love you so much. Don't ever stop. Yeah, Thank I agree you. with that. We are fucking, we fucking love you, can't say. There's I'd send every, if I had We've enough time legends. in the day, can't, I'd send every single one of you a message. Every fucking day, cunt. But yeah, we fucking... He's right. We are we are the best. We are very, very loving and we give and we give and we give and we expect nothing in return. Nothing except maybe a like and a comment and maybe a subscribe. And a vote. Yeah, and a vote and sign up to the website and buy some Manscaped stuff. Yeah. And maybe go like our Facebook page. And watch, our, watch all the videos. Follow all Instagram accounts that we have. 
follow Matt's as well. You can PayPal us some money if you need. Mm. Send it to me, definitely. You guys send it to Matt's probably address, get more than me. which is two o twenty nine f- six Street. five. Sorry, two o Avenue as well. Central. Remember that. So it's Upper Park. <laughs> Leave it at that. It's Upper Park. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Upper, it's Upper Park. That's a real thing. You know, like there's the Upper West Side in New York. Mm. I think he's just merged that to Upper Park. Well, that's. That's where it is. It's up a park. Next question is from okay, Nick and Gagnon. Here we go. I gotta fucking try and listen here. <laughs> he keeps going off all the time. Can you guys take us through the thought process behind choosing a background for the podcast? Uh, Michael just sends Connor a bunch of versions and then we just pick the one. The people on the that are signed up to the website in the UOM chat, they send through like all screenshots and then I just send them straight to Connor. Mm. And Lachlan, you know who you are. Your shit that you send us is fucking hilarious. He literally like a video comes out and he'll have screenshots of the funniest like photos of us doing weird oh, shit. Oh, wow. That's a great sends idea. Sends them through. Thank like, you, Larkland. Yeah. Appreciate Larkland. it, dude. Oh, oh next, next one, one is from Alex T. This is a video idea that really I thought was good because we've been kind of talking about something similar. Mm-hmm. But he said I had a video idea saying which Olympic sport item is the easiest to catch? And then he listed off javelin, discus, shot put, hurdle, diving board. <laughs> well, oh, we yeah. spoke about the javelin. Yeah, we, so we talked about it. And then I was like, that's not oh. a bad idea. Catching all the different ones. We this have a what story. We, yeah, what we, we have forgot. a story for you. Yeah. We forgot about this during shit talk, right? So, I've just moved house. Grass is getting a bit long. My oh. little mole just broke. Oh, hang on. Do we want to talk about this? Yeah. Cut all that, Connor. I think we should leave it in and leave replay it. <laughs> leave a little bit of it in. All right, we're going to tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've moved house. The grass is going to be long. My lawnmower broke. Michael gave me the number. His gardener. The first time he's coming over to my house, he, he was like, oh, yeah. Um, you know, he called me and I was like, oh, yeah, just don't um, touch the gate on the left. It's a bit um, broken. And he's like, oh, do you want me to have a go at fixing it? And I was like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah. And then anyway, I come home and he's like on the front lawn with his um, finger wraps in his shirt. And I was like, oh, what happened? And he was like quite calm. But I could see in his face that something was wrong. And he was like, oh, I've just hurt my finger. And there was like a fair bit of blood around. And then um, he's like, oh, I've just called the ambulance as well. I was like, oh, right. And then he's like, he started like panicking a little bit. And then um, I had to go and clean all his tools up. He's like, oh, do you mind just taking all my tools and putting them in my truck? And then he friggin' went to the ambulance, messages us the next day and says that he, the tip of his finger had to be removed. Like here, like your first knuckle. Yeah, first like knuckle. That's your second knuckle, Michael. Yeah, just, but, uh, just like down from, from the first oh, knuckle. Oh shit, that's a knuckle too. It's fucking stone. I never thought about that. That's oh, yeah. a man. You got knuckles like that's a knuckle. I thought that was a knuckle. And that's that a knuckle. Was a knuckle. Oh, I forgot. What, that also the middle one there, that's a knuckle. Yeah, I knew about the And then tattoo. on the other hand, it's a whole nother story. You Dude, got, we're doing a, a podcast here. that was so embarrassing. You got a knuckle here and there's more knuckles. There's even three just in this finger. Is there any? Yeah, okay. It stops there. The, it meant, no, it continues on. See, there's another knuckle. Yeah, no, one, two, three. You got three yeah, knuckles, And then right? four, five, six, right? Oh, yeah, on and then you fingers. can go to this one too, if you want. Or you can go that way. It's up to you. Either okay. way, you got a lot of knuckles, right? And this guy had just lost one. Yeah. So crazy. The first time he's come over to help out my house, he loses the tip of his finger. And that I basically followed him, that gardener, to the hospital because I was picking him up to get the nail out of his fucking calf muscle. (laughs) (laughs) That's fucking crazy. I stayed there fucking two days later, can't get me fucking ticked to scream that. (laughs) So many hospitals. Yeah, we've been to a hospital a fair bit recently. Recently? Fuck. Recently? It's okay. All things happen in bad things happen in threes. So we've, we're done. We got it out of the way. You, me, the gardener. <laughs> we're a team. You mean the gardener are one unit. We're the triangle. Um, we spiral out of control at times. <laughs> we lose limbs. We spiral limbs. And, and get Finger hurt tips. badly. But at the end of the day, we will always come back with that gardener. <laughs> yeah, he is our number one gardener. He is our unit. Next question is from Taylor <laughs> Dow. Um, have you ever had any fans wait outside the PO box address? Um, try and, uh, you know, has there anything been ever uncomfortable interaction at the PO box address when you're picking stuff up? No, that'd be, that'd be cool if they imagine if we went to the PO box, there's like a few people sleeping there. Go, <laughs> wow. I'd bring them over. I'd bring them here for the podcast. That would never happen with us. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I think I don't think that we have that <laughs> that kind of sway that people yeah. would sleep on the streets <laughs> wait for us. <laughs> yeah, no, that's never happened. Oh fuck. Uh, next question is from Joshua Hughes. Um, is there any day or night of your lives do you wish you had caught on camera that, that you if you could you watch it back? Mm, that's a great question. Yeah, there have been so many nights out that I'm like, fuck, I wish we basically oh, most man. of most of They're our all- lives before we've made, started making videos, I wish we filmed. Oh man, so many, so many memories that are dude, just gone. Fuck, oh, well, dude, I just realised we should, we should, because we did get quite a few clips from our Europe trip, right? Dude, One Michael's time. camera. Yeah, there was footage of me shitting on the road. There's heaps of shit. Oh, okay. Remember? I'll ask him for it. Yeah, I wonder. It was a long time ago, but that yeah. was like when we were twenty. Yeah, yeah, and like would it was just on holidays in Europe. <laughs> Next question is from Dakota, my man. Um, Marty Michael, Matthew Gregory Brown. Is there one thing that the other person does often that generally pisses you off? Yeah, man. Look at him, cunt. <laughs> he fucking wakes up in the morning, cunt. <laughs> oh, dude, the grabbing. <laughs> like, or like when you go past him, you're like, you'll brush, you're like under your arm or some shit and tickle oh, yeah. oh. I love when he's stretched out somewhere and he's so frustrating <laughs> not expecting it and I gently <laughs> run my finger down his skin <laughs> <laughs> he gets so mad baby dude I hate it oh I have old footage of you fucking with him like lots of old footage on my computer like just dude, messing with him we should get do a website video just all the old footage that we can find of ourselves. Oh man! Well, James would have a heap from yeah, the I've house. I've got heaps from yeah, your Matt's old got house. Heaps. Fucking have you got those? I've got shitloads. Do you know where it is? Yeah, it's on my computer. And the knife ones. Um, the knife oh, game. No, that one got lost. Damn it! Yeah, but oh, I think I we have other myself. knife ones. But I've got one of Marty getting absolutely naked and walking into Michael's bedroom, and starts like, and I think your eyebrow was shaved as well. And you start, and like Michael's like curled up with Bosley asleep on the bed, and you're like, you just start oh. humping on his leg, <laughs> oh. whispering to him. I remember even that fucking the Yamba trip. Is there any footage from that? Oh, no, just some know. photos, just some un- unsavory Maybe. photos. I've got to I've imagine got if bits. we put that photo, you know, the one I'm talking about. What of me on all fours at the bed, looking oh, in between my legs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so Dude. there's this photo I have of Marty when I first met him and he's on all fours, completely oh, naked. Oh, fuck. And you can see this ring of hair that goes around the asshole like perfectly. No, and you can see my nutsack hanging down yeah. and my face is underneath then, yeah. looking back at the camera. <laughs> yeah, if you look through the gap of nutsack and leg, you see Marty's oh, face. Oh, with like the evilest grin. Oh, That's a night we met Michael Fallon. sickening, yeah. yeah that's <laughs> right. right. Yeah, so there's... Well, I don't even know what we're talking about, but there is some fucking... Yeah. I wish that we could have filmed our entire lives from 25 backwards to back when I was watching the wall get pulled down as I was born. Yeah, in Germany. holy shit. You were actually... Fuck your liba were my first words. It was a wall birth. <laughs> yeah. Next question is from Michael. Yes, sir. Um, Marty, would you be willing to steal Mon's diaries for the diary entry segment? I bet she finds Marty doing some fucked up things that never tells anyone but keeps it in her diary. I'll ask her. I'll ask her. See if I can find her diary, huh? Okay. Mm. Okay, we got three more. Um, Question next is from Hunter Height. Height? Height, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Will Matthew ever be in the video of... Will Matthew ever be in the video of a podcast for the whole episode? Oh, yeah. Sorry. We yeah, talk we've about this. talked in the next season. Matt Brown will, his head will be in the shot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, oh, just here? Yeah, in the middle somewhere. I want to grab it and do what I want. We'll, we'll talk about it. All right. <laughs> oh. Make it like oh. we nah, could, no, get, we could you win. No, you get the head. I've got an idea. It's not going to work. If you were here, all right. If we did good things that you liked, we got free Matt Brown like rubs. rubs. And it's good luck. It's considered good luck to Matt Rub Brown. <laughs> to Matt Rub Brown. Like oily. And we put oil on the head. I've looked at some of the early designs and I don't know if it's going to work <laughs> practically. We'll We'd see. have to be up we'll higher. You'd have I need to, to- You wouldn't be comfortable you know, No, crouching. all we need is We can do the, those, uh, we can do the, the thing. One of those, those electric saws and go around in a circle here and cut a little hole out. Right? And your head a little sticking up like that. Let's take this offline, hey? 
Who has gotten the worst injury conducting a science experiment, Marty or Michael? Well, Michael's had a broken rib and just had a needle completely enter his body. So I'd say probably Michael has had the worst injuries. How was your injury when you got the thing in your hand? Yeah, that was okay. It was like a little thumbtack under the skin. It's probably not the worst injury. It's just one I had to go to hospital for. There have been some very painful videos, Matthew Brown. <laughs> so Michael wins. Yeah. There's no winning. Science is the winner. That's so true, baby. Seriously. What are you laughing at, Matthew? He's Should fucking serious, you asshole. <laughs> Our whole lives are dedicated to this cause, you fucking cunt. <laughs> We've better read humanity. a fucking book, man. We've solved so many murders and shit. You fucking idiot, you <sighs> pig. We found Smith. What murders? We found Smith. Well, we had Greg, Greg Smith. We found Greg <laughs> Smith. <laughs> he is a fucking. He's like an angel. We to founded us. him. He's like. Do you understand? He was nothing before us. Greg Smith is an angel. All right. <laughs> the Sanford Angel. Watch this. I've built a ramp now with the P.O. box, and I'm going to shoot this paper ball up the ramp, and it's going to hit Brown in the skull. Open your mouth, Brown. Oh. oh, wait. This could work, man. This could be a trick shot, man. Oh. So close. Right. Anyway, next segment has been renamed to... Ooh. And this is a segment where we open the shit that you guys sent to our PO boxes. It's right there. Do you want me to come sit in your lap? Yeah. yeah. You know, Brownie town. Just so you can share the chair. Um, also, for those wondering, if you send shit now and it doesn't make it in time for the finale, just know that we will be checking our PO box during our little break and collecting shit. Okay? So keep sending shit. Just keep sending shit during the breaks. Sorry. And there's no pauses on the PO box. We will always check them. All right? It's not a monster. With a further ado, all right, this says for Marty. Oh, oh no. Yes, he got you. I oh, thought no. that was going to happen. Oh. oh, my God. Okay, so some had, it's one. It's probably the code oh, guy. Oh, not the code guy, the sick guy. And he sent his oh. cum in again, and oh, Marty's just touched the cum. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Fuck. You touched the cum. I was, it, it was, the paper was hard it's to stuck pull together apart. from the cum. That's yeah. where he touched. As he was pulling apart, he put his thumb in there. Oh, Jesus. I really don't want to be touching this. I like that. That was a good prank. Oh, look at this. I should have read this first. That's why I was like, no, check the other check one. The other one. On the and other, I sort of wanted one for myself. Dear too. Marty, on the other paper, I cummed in the drawn circle. This is why I did it. I heard you met a new woman. I don't know if it is your new wife, girlfriend or something. The next time she wants to have sex with you and... She plans to report to the cops for rape and getting her pregnant with no proof. Get your cock and used it to s suck up my cum sperm. And when you fuck her and your cock is in her vagina and you push her sperm out of my sperm, you go in her and when she goes for a DNA test or something, it will say this is not Marty's child and, sh and you get away with it with free sex. Oh, it's not a bad idea. It's a, it's a good concept. That was really well written. Wow. Fuck, I can't that believe That was so creative. Oh, we have someone sent in cum finally. We've got to keep that. Make yeah, sure. no, we got cum. We've I, he got it me cum. last week or we've two weeks cums. ago. We've, all right, well, I, as long as we've had cum. All right? We've had cum in the jar as well. I don't want to That's be two cums on, now. I don't want to be on three this, cums. I don't want to be on an earth where we haven't been sent cum. <laughs> Please send us as much cum as you can, all right? Yeah, send us weird shit. Yeah, send us weird shit. We love the weird shit, baby. <laughs> this segment's going off at the moment. Yeah. It's really popping. <laughs> we are so fucking baked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are. Oh, man. Oh, somebody actually asked a question. Why do you guys <laughs> Somebody asked, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, why do I always, always play? I always with fiddle with things. I think maybe um, because I uh, have really bad anxiety and ADHD. Yeah, I guess I do it too. Anyway, um, read a book. Last segment. Should we read a book? What's your favorite book? Somebody asked that question. Too. I'm getting uncomfortable really? now. It's too much. Oh, you, this is your fault. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, I, I this want is your it. fault. Yes. I yeah, need more can. chair. <laughs> My ass hurts. Well, you got the prank call to do, so I better go back. Well, we've yeah. already filmed that, man. You can Sorry. stay. <laughs> um, yeah, favorite book would probably be Scar Tissue, the fucking autobiography from um, 
uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers from Man Anthony Kiedis. That's a fucking good book. Um, and to finish with, um, I'd like to do a prank call, if I may. Yes, please. Well, mm, it's time to go back to the classics. Well, we were thinking today and we thought, mm, what worked well last season? And then we were continuing uh, thinking. And I said, well, why don't um, look? Why don't I do Arnold Fine and try and sell some of my uh, meat that I have? And Michael. Michael said, yeah. I was excited. I want to hear the butcher. A new butcher. Yeah, a new butcher. Start a new butcher legacy. Start a brand new fresh one. See if we can uh, sell some of Arnold Fine's picks. Okay. Oh, what? Sorry. <laughs> Arnold Fine. Arnold Fine. Arnold Fine. 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 Feeling Arnold Fine. fine. Here we go. Amy, Samantha speaking. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Arnold Fine. I'm uh, a small uh, pig breeder uh, north uh, Brisbane. I uh, call uh, some butcher. I, I want to see uh, if you like uh, buy some uh, pig from me. I have a very good uh, price. And uh, the pig is very strong, uh, healthy, uh, sick, flicking around uh, in the back there. So uh, who, who can I uh, speak to about uh, maybe uh, selling a pig? Hold on, I'm just putting... Yeah, butcher on, hold on. Hello, Adrian speaking. Uh, hello, Adrian. Um, my name is Arnold Fine. Um, I'm a small uh, pig breeder in uh, North Brisbane. And uh, I have a few uh, small pig, uh, some large pig, and I call uh, Butcher to see uh, if maybe I can uh, sell a pig. It's a uh, very, very strong, healthy pig. And uh, I've already sold uh, two pig today. So I try to sell uh, another maybe three, four pig, uh, some of the big ones, maybe a little one. Uh, see maybe what you think, eh? You want to buy a pig? Um, mate, to be honest with you, you're talking to the wrong one here. Um, all of that has to go through the, the owner, Pat. He's not here at the moment. Okay. But if you want to give him a call back tomorrow, you can have a chat with him for sure. What about you? What if I sell you the pig? I uh, can sell a very good price, half price what I normally sell. And then you can sell the pig to butcher, make three, four hundred dollar, maybe five hundred dollar. Uh, uh, what you think of the pig is a very uh, large pig. Nah. Nearly Honestly, I'd, I'd rather make my money on the pokies, mate. I'm all good. Thank uh, you. What is uh, the pokies? Huh? What is that? Is uh, that a pick? Type of no, pick? No, no, no. It's, it's the rattle machines with the flash of lights. You chuck your money and you press a button and oh. you could win thousands. Okay, so you say uh, the rattlesnake uh, you buy, but not the yeah. pick. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, well, um, maybe I have a friend who also sells a rattlesnake. Um, maybe he give, uh, I give him your number? Yeah, go for it, mate. I'll, I'll snap him up. Okay, what's your number? Huh? What's your number? Write down. Uh, I'm, I'm number one, mate. Always number one. Number one. And what is the rest of the number? That's it. I'm just number one, buddy. Uh, that make no sense, huh? You're number <laughs> one? <laughs> You're number one that make no sense, huh? Do not I'm lie to me. One, Do not mate. waste number my one. time. No, Excuse me. Hey, I, I'm talking now. Arnold, fine. I am talking. You do not waste my time. Your number is not one. <laughs> Why you laugh, eh? My wife is sick. My wife is sick. I need to sell the pig, okay? To buy a uh, medication. She flicking, she flicking around with the, pig, the two, three pig in the back outside. And the neighbor look over the fence and say, Oh, your wife, your wife is sick. And uh, you laugh and you give me number one and try and sell a rattlesnake, huh? <laughs> fuck a fuck at the rattlesnake. <laughs> You peak! Yo. You are peak! <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck you! Oh, yeah, fuck you! <laughs> you call the uh, move west of my time! Huh? I tell all other butcher, you uh, wavel as a fuck! Yeah, you just tell him Sniffy says hi, right? Fresh! Yes. Fresh peak! You all fresh peak! <laughs> <laughs> I love how I'm fine when he's fired up. He's so cute. Oh, I fuck you. I fuck you. Dude, that was Luigi. Next week, it's the fucking season finale. So don't forget that. We got Brandon Novak interview coming on. And we got fucking some cool shit coming on the website. There's some cool shit happening. Remember, if you want to support us, give the video a like.
or a subscribe or a comment. If you don't know what to comment, comment, comment. There's no excuse, Matt Brown. Vote for the podcast. And don't forget to vote for the Listener's Choice Award, okay? The link is in the fucking description. It'll take you like two or three minutes. You can vote multiple times if you want. Have can you? Apparently. Have funny, yeah. Apparently I haven't tried that. Hilly <laughs> said. Yeah, Mon, right. Mon voted a few times. But fucking just get Once around is enough. Get around Thanks, it. Everyone, just do it. Thank you. And do you know, you know why? Because we- We're the best- we're best. The best. We're the, we're the best. best. We're the best. We're the best. 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 We're the best. We're the best. Say it, Matt Brown. We're the Say it. We're the. We're the. We're the best. We're the. We're the. We're the what? We're the best. <laughs> Say it. Say it. We're the best. Mm. That's better. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Matt. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>